Welcome back, this is Baller Scooper with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. I am joined, as always, by my Guardian Force leveling up squad of Maria, Leo, and Irvine. We got a few levels with uh, Zell and Quistus last time, so I've switched them out. I have gotten all of the useful abilities out of uh, Doom Train here. Like I said, all the useful ones, including Junk Shop Forbidden Medicine Refine, which we have not looked at uh, yet, but we will. Auto Shell is also nice, plus these times fours are awesome. Elemental Defense and Status Defense Junction times four. Those are indeed awesome. Uh, we've also gotten everything important out of Bahamut here. Ability times four he came with, all the plus 60s, auto protects, uh, the expend two times one is also good. Uh, the rare item's not as good as it sounds. I would not recommend equipping it. Uh, then also forbidden magic refined from Bahamut. Uh, Cactar as well, we have gotten everything useful out of them. Uh, so I am more or less done grinding for a long time. And we are going to move on to, actually, looking at some of the abilities before I, I, I move on. Uh, let's take a look at Forbidden Medicine Refine first, uh, so you can see that I'm not a big fan of it. 20 Mega Potions into an Elixir does not sound worth it to me. Does not sound worth it to me. Uh, luck Scroll will turn into Luck Up. Uh, status of Attack will turn into 4 Elixirs. 4 Elixirs, don't do that. No, that's terrible. Uh, the Vitality Up from Animantine, that's not too bad. Uh, I might be using that uh, 10 Royal Crowns into a Magic Up. That's also not bad. We'll go over how to get those later. And Gaze Ring will turn into an HP Up, which is always good. The Hyper Wrists as well. Strength Up and 50 Jet Engines to get yourself a Speed Up. Good God, is that a lot of Jet Engines that you'll need. Uh, but those will all help you with the stats if you're having trouble with them. Uh, let's take a look at Forbidden Magic Refine, which is going to be a lot better, as I'm sure you can understand. We get Meteor, we get Ultima, uh, we get more Meteors, more Ultimas. I think those are the only things you can get. Seems to be it. Seems to be just the two. But they're still worth it. Meteors and Ultimas, always worth the trouble. I am back where I have been fighting Cactuars for a long time. I actually have Encounter None on because we're going to get one of the most obscure quests I have ever seen in a video game done today. And that involves me running around here. Even with Encounter None on, I am looking for a very specific battle that does start even when you have Encounter None on. Luckily, it's not too taxing for me to wait around for it. Uh, this could happen to you naturally. You're just running around the desert here and eventually a UFO will go across the screen carrying what seems to be Khufu's Pyramid. Shrunk down quite considerably though. I'm not sure it's Khufu's at all. He's the one that did the big one, though. No. Uh, we get no experience for that fight, no AP, no items, nothing. So what was the point of that fight? That's a good question indeed. I wish the occult fan would tell us a little bit more about it. Uh, that is one of four locations where I am going to need to get that encounter. I will meet you after, or at least during, the next encounter. Once again, keep Encounter None on, it will make things a lot easier for you to find this random encounter. It actually shows up pretty often these days. It didn't earlier in uh, the game when I was on Disc 1 or 2, but now it shows up quite often and he's taking a cow. Why would he be taking a cow? But off he goes with his cow prize, and once again... We have one, kind of. No experience, no items, no AP. Just for the record, I am just outside Windhill. Really, any of the area out here outside Windhill will do. Two down. 
And I have gotten our third encounter in yet another random location seemingly. I mean, I understand the desert because I'm there a lot for, for grinding. If I didn't know to grind there, I don't know how to go there either. But we are on a beach, so he takes a Moai. Why he takes a head from the Easter Island, I am not entirely sure, but he does. Kind of a... Uh, missing a little chunk of its body there, though. We cut it off a little bit too high. But, once again, we have defeated the UFO, I guess you could say. So, where were we on a beach where he could find an Easter Island head? We're actually on the beach east. If, are they going to be able to let me see it? No, there it is. East of Timber. On this little beach here. There's, for some reason, called Mandy Beach. Just for the record, around Windhill would be known as Windhill Bluffs. And the desert we were at would be called Kashkabald Desert. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. One more location for us to go to. He's actually being very easy for me to find today. I'm just going to go ahead and call it a he, even though we don't know at all. Uh, this is a very random location. I don't know how you're supposed to know this one in particular, because it's not even part of the mainland. But he takes a crop circle? Like the portion of a tr crop circle that would have to be removed to make a crop circle, even though it's just kind of folded in the crop circle. He took a crop circle, though. And we win yet again. Very strange, this. Once again, four very random locations. I don't know how you can figure this out without uh, looking up a guide of some kind. As you can see, we're on this small little island. I wouldn't say where we are, but you can't even see it from here. Uh, we are east of uh, Trebia Garden here. This is the Trebia continent. Uh, for some reason, though, they call this the Heath Peninsula even though it's an island, very clearly an island. There's, there's no way this is a peninsula, not at all. Although while looking for this place, uh, since I was actually looking for peninsulas, <laughs> I was like, I don't believe you. You say it's an island, they say it's a peninsula. I don't believe the game. I found out that this area up here, which is an actual peninsula, this place, it's called the Thor Peninsula. I love it. Now, with all four of those locations down, I can actually find the guy, hopefully. I'll meet you there. After you have done all four encounters, just kind of watch them, you can head here to the Grandidi Forest, as it's called. Now, I had to land up on the cliff with the Ragnarok. Uh, you can see uh, that's where the last Chocobo Forest was, uh, where we got our rewards for the Chocobo Quest. This is where you need to be, and you want to run along the cliffs, uh, once again with Encounter None, so that you know exactly what you're going to be up against. And we are up against the UFO. Uh, should be quite an easy fight for me, though. Uh, this guy it is not particularly powerful. Not too powerful at all. Yeah, you're pretty much gonna one-shot him no matter what your levels are, what your stats are. It's it's going to do it. You get an Aegis amulet out of this so that you can learn evade. I guess if you want to learn more evade, I might use that. But we're not done just yet. You don't do all this for the Aegis arm amulet. Now, now, one more location. Make sure you have elixirs and somebody that can use them. Back at, of all places, Balam, back where the garden used to be. Let's head to the crater where we can get into one last fight and finish off 
this very obscure, impossible to do without a guide side quest. Now, seriously, how are you supposed to do this? Uh, is he going to actually say it? I want him to to say it. There he goes. He asks for an elixir. As you can see, when I use them, you'll need five. His name is unfortunately Poo Poo. Uh, I looked it up. Uh, I guess in the Japanese his name was Kuyo Kuyo, or however that is supposed to be pronounced. I tried to look up a direct translation for Kuyo Kuyo, but I could not find it. I pray that it does not have the same meaning that Poo Poo has in English. I, I, seriously, how did you guys not change this guy's name? There's no way that in Japan they called him shit. It's just not possible. As you can see, he's only got 10 health. I don't know why he needs so many damn elixirs. If he's only got the 10 health. Uh, so hopefully you have them. Uh, I, I forget exactly what I... Uh, what I card mod in order to get the 99 elixirs. But, like I said, I would highly recommend that you mod that card. If not, I'm not sure you'll be able to get five elixirs normally through the game. You might be able to, but, you know, don't use them. Save them for this if you're not playing the card game. Hooray, we did it! He thanks us. Uh, now, you can actually kill that guy. Uh, I, I highly suggest you do not kill him, though, no? because you get Poo Poo's card for this work that we have done. And that's it. So, uh, if you kill him, uh, you get a, a little bit of um, EXP and AP and all that stuff. And I believe an accelerator is what you get. I, I don't actually have the notes in front of me for that. Don't kill him, though. Do not do it, because accelerators you can get. Whatever you can get for it. I think it's accelerators. Whatever you, can, you get for killing him can easily be gotten other ways. Uh, the the poo poo card though, this is the only way that you can get it. So let's take a look at this very elusive rare card that's level 5. So here it is, as you can see he's strong on one side, very very weak on every other side. Whatever you do, do not modify this card. Don't kill poo poo. Don't get rid of this card. If you get rid of this card, there's no way for you to get it back. Unlike everything that we have done from level 8 onward, there's no way to get this card back. Once, once you lose this card, it is gone forever. And you don't even get something good out of it. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what it, what it actually gives you. Let's actually take a look. What do we get? for our pre poo card. A hungry cook pot. Now that is a very rare item. Uh, and barring what I'm going to be doing later in the game, it's actually the only way you can get a hungry cook pot in, in the game. But I will be doing this crazy thing in order to get more of those. Uh, but once again, because the poo poo card is unique in the game. You cannot get it any other way, and once you lose it, it's gone forever. And once you modify it, it's gone forever. Well, if you lose it, maybe you can get it back. I've never actually lost it, never used it in a card fight, but do, do not lose that card. It's what we went across the earth for five, six, technically random locations in order to get. Don't lose it. Speaking of cards, though, let's continue that.